guys, Canadian Saint Geef back again. And uh, I got a little bit of an interesting project that I've been wanting to try for a while. You know, I'm a huge fan of, uh, you know, the PSP. You know, great lineup of games. You know, and be able to play, uh, you know, PlayStation 1 games off of the, uh, you know, if you saw, if you soft mod it, you know, you can load everything up, have a lot of crazy emulators, and, you know, it's a great all-in-one kind of system. Um, the only thing is, the, the battery life is not the best. You know, you can get those extended batteries. And uh, sure, they may last a little bit longer if you can get a good charger for them. Um, if you can still find them that still carry a charge. But the thing that I've noticed between all of them, the charge doesn't last. You know, like if you're going to play it, you know, continuously through the week and then charge it at the end of every day. You know, you should be good for a while. But if you want to put it down for a bit... Even on standby mode or just turning it off, next time you pick it up, if it takes a week for you to get back to it, it's going to be toast. So I really don't like that. <laughs> kind of pisses me off because I, you know, like a lot of collectors, we like to play a lot of different things, you know. We don't like to just play one thing straight all the time. But uh, I want to try to do a battery mod for it that it'll actually take some AAA batteries so it's not if it just sits there it doesn't matter because batteries are going to be inside of it and then I'm just going to put the AAA's in whenever I want to play it so I don't have to be limited to a wall if I just want to pick up and play it one day um, but we'll see how it goes you know um, it may not work but let's try Okay, so we'll just take it kind of step by step. So we have a PSP 3000, it's got a war edition, so let's take the battery cover off. We'll need that for a bit. And the battery should just pop right out. So this is a OEM one, but uh, like I said, it doesn't carry a charge. I haven't played this in months. And I uh, pick it up and it's been off for maybe about two months. So not that long and uh, no charge whatsoever left in it. It's completely off. It wasn't even in standby. So it just doesn't hold on to it. So that's garbage. I don't like that. So uh, I'm not going to ruin this one. But you do have to have a battery to open up. To make use of it. Because you know it's got three leads here. We got a, a positive and a negative. Negative on this side. And the center is for charging that goes back. So we're not going to need to tie it really into that. Um, but just to be safe, I'm going to want to use the same pinout on here. So the idea is we're going to open up a battery. We're not going to use this one. We're going to use uh, this third party one. Um, we're going to open up this battery, take out the, the board inside, and then wire in one of these guys, a AAA battery cradle. And uh, the voltage is gonna be a little bit higher on this. Um, this is uh, 3.6 and uh, AAA batteries are 1.5 each. So this is gonna be 4.5 opposed to 3.6. I could get 3.6 by doing rechargeables, but uh, I think it's gonna be okay. It, Probably isn't going to make that much of a difference once it's actually going through this one. Going through this board. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm hoping anyways. Because I really want to have something I can just run over to the store and just grab new batteries if I'm out or something. And I don't need to deal with rechargeables. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to get your uh, third party battery. You're going to take out your... Uh, some kind of blade and you, what you're going to do is see along here there's like this line it goes all the way around you can sometimes pry them open with a screwdriver but um, it's probably going to be easier to do this so what I'm going to do is gently gently go down and just do multiple um, cuts over any kind of force you know, you're cutting in this way, you know, and you need that leverage a bit, and you don't want to uh, 
end up going to the damn hospital. So let's just do that. See, I've already got a little bit of a, a gap here. So I wonder if I can get a screwdriver in. Yep, there we go. And I'm just gonna slide it along the side, kind of pr gently prying just to break the seal. Okay, it's almost totally free. You don't want to wreck nothing there, perfect. Okay, so what we have here, we have the board here. These are the pins that go into uh, your PSP and underneath here is the battery. So it's got this sticker over top here. You could take rid of that because you're not going to need it. And this is going to be, you might be able to see it. Um, it's hard to see, but, oops. Focus. Focus. Anyways, yeah, see, my, B minus and B plus right here. So that's going to be a positive, it's going to be a negative, okay? So what you're going to do is... You know, you're not going to need this battery, but you don't, don't want to get battery acid over yourself, so be a little bit careful. I'm just going to clip these off, like so, pull that one away, and pull this one away, like so. Okay, now, this should be free, but you don't want to break these connectors, so we're going to pull it up a bit, and we're just going to lift this battery out and put it aside. So here we go, we got all we need here. Now, this thing, the uh, the cradle, is a touch bigger than this. Like, you're gonna need uh, one of the expanded battery pack covers for these larger batteries. Usually they come with, you know, larger batteries that you need for the PSP. So you're going to need that to enclose it. So uh, this is going to take a little bit of work to make fit. Not a terrible amount. Probably going to have to uh, dremel out a little bit of the sides a little bit. But it's just fine. Because once it's sitting inside the PSP, it'll have these as the sides. So it's going to take a little bit of doctoring. So I'm going to doctor it up and then we'll cut back. Okay, so I've done a little bit of mill work. This is another one, this isn't the one. On this guy here, because what I want to do is I want it to fit inside of here. Now unfortunately, the size of the batteries make this a little bit, so what I've done anyways, I've cut off the two ends of this guy with a Dremel. So I've got this piece and I've got this piece now. And these will sit on either end, it's going to be a bit hard just to hold it with my hands, but kind of like that inside the old battery casing and then the batteries will just slide inside. Now unfortunately this isn't going over top, this will make it too tall for the cover to go. So what I think I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to cut off these ends and I'll have to solder in a wire just so it can sit on top of the battery and I'll put some electrical tape over top and secure it. Um, that way uh, it won't get in the way and it'll be able to put the cover back on. So I'm gonna try that out and cross my fingers, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. Um, I've uh, extended, I've clipped off the pins and I've soldered these wires directly to it. Now the idea is to solder these right to these leads, so that'll give me a little bit more room for it to sit right on top. So I'll get that done and I'll uh, move to the next step. Oh, by the way, um, I'll do a listing of all the little parts and stuff I use for this whole thing. It's seeming a lot more complicated because I'm probably not the best to try to, best guy to explain how to do this kind of stuff, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. So I've got it soldered now. So it's soldered here, all three lines, and it's soldered here on the board. So that should effectively extend it the way I want it to. Now, uh, I don't like how much bend this is going to be as I slowly fit it into place. Like, it's going to be 
I'm going to do electrical tape over this and everything. But uh, I want it to be able to move freely without worry that it's going to break. So I'm going to reinforce these solder points right here and here with some Bondic. This stuff is awesome. I love it for minor electronic projects. It's just like a hard loca plastic glue, um, UV light kind of thing. I'm going to cover this whole area right here with it, all over here, and it's going to hold it nicely in place. So we're just going to do that. And yeah, I lost the cap, whatever. So we'll just get it in between. Oops, yeah, I guess it would help if I, uh, and then we're just going to cure it with the loca glue, the UV light. That should be pretty good. So same thing, I'm going to do that for here and do it for here. And then we'll go to the next step. Okay, update. I've got it all attached now. So it's got this. This interior part here is cut out of this. This is just a secondary one, just in case I screwed it up. Both sides, it's got no bottom or anything. I just took the ends off it and then filed them down and put them inside the bottom of the uh, third party battery cover. And uh, just laced the uh, the string or the uh, the wires that came with this through uh, where the batteries sit and everything kind of sits in pretty nicely um, this will just kind of sit on top like that and I'm going to shorten these wires and they're going to go into these leads um, negative and positive so this is going to be negative this black is going to be negative and red is going to be positive so that's almost done. So I'm going to solder that together and uh, put some electrical tape over this, um, pack it up and uh, plug it in and see how she works. Let's cross her fingers. Okay, moment of truth. It's all wired up. I got electrical tape over it. I'm going to set it in just kind of like that. And when I have to remove the batteries, this whole play thing will just gently move out of the way and I can put the new batteries in. A little bit of extra wire so there shouldn't be any stress on it in theory so let's try it out a little bit tight but it fits so we got that in there and we got the cover over top come on I know you can fit nope Words there just have to be pushed out of the way a bit. Nope. Almost. Well, I'll have to fiddle with that a little bit more anyways. Let's see if it works. <gasps> Look at that. We have power. So uh, this is a successful mod, a battery mod. I didn't actually mod the PSP, so it's not messing with it at all. All it is, is just modding an actual battery to take AAA. And it works. That's awesome. Success. Now I'm going to see if I can get this battery cover on. I know it's probably just a wire that's uh, touching somewhere, but let's take a look. Anyways, yeah. So, I got it to work, it fits on top, and here's it running. Full bars going right here, I'll have to test to see how long it lasts for 3 AAA, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy how this turned out. Uh, it took a little bit of work, but it, really it was fairly easy, you know, it was mostly just uh, getting the the AAA battery cradle ends to shave down with a little razor uh, to be able to fit inside the uh, uh, third party battery and uh, then wi wiring the cords you know a couple little solder points uh, wasn't really too bad at all um, 
yeah, I, I'm very happy how this turned out. And uh, I, I hope uh, someone else could give it a shot too and let me know how it works out for you because PSP is great. And uh, now I'm never going to have to worry about uh, having to pick up some batteries if it's dead because I'll just put in some new batteries. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.